Crook from the Digital Nomads Forum, and this week we're talking about haters. Why am I talking about haters? Well, when you're becoming a digital nomad or you're an existing digital nomad and you want to keep doing it, it might almost be inevitable that you're going to run into these people, especially when you're trying to do it. When you're trying to become a digital nomad, there's just going to be these people who are going to tell you you're crazy. You can't do it. Why would you want to do it? Basically, they're going to kind of put down what you think is an awesome idea for yourself, regardless of what's actually best for you. Same thing kind of happens if you're already doing it and you meet some people who are just maybe a bit more old fashioned. Now, the reason I want to bring this up was because even in my own Digital Nomads Forum community, which is an online Facebook group, we've got like almost 10,000 people in there. Most of the time, because I've worked really hard, we have a community that is so awesome at supporting each other. I put a big emphasis on providing value as the focus. It's only what the group is for. It's for helping each other and it's not for promoting people's bullshit. And I recently put a post in there when I was talking about a controversial topic, which was in the world of digital nomads, is the 20% fee that Upwork, a remote work platform, charges too much. And I tuned in the one day and some one of the new members who hasn't really been in there yet, we get a lot of new members every week, had posted on my thing and he said, when was the last time you got laid, buddy? And then another comment, making fun of my beard and telling me that I look like a child. And my first quick, quick reaction was about to write back a message and be like, oh no, like da 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 da. And of course, quickly and luckily, I was like, no, that's a huge waste of energy. That is feeding the troll. So what did I do? Well, in this case, since the Digital Nomads Forum is my community, I removed this guy as a member because if that's the kind of crap you're posting that has no relevance to what's being discussed, like that's not what this community is about and it's just simply not tolerated. But I think what's important here is uh, not reacting, not writing back, not insulting the other person. In fact, reflecting on it, I kind of feel bad for this person because if you're in that kind of space mentally where people are having like a legitimate conversation about, you know, whatever, digital nomad stuff, remote work stuff, and the only thing you have to contribute is insults to someone you've never even met, well, man, you must be hurting inside and that's a bummer. Wish you didn't take it out on me, but you know, it sucks. It sucks that people are hurting in that way and they have to take it out on others. And so I think when we can remember that, when people are hating on whatever it is we're trying to do, especially when it's something that we know is aligned with what we should be doing and that it is good for us, then you know it's not that we don't listen to anyone, we ignore everything we don't like, it's sometimes that we acknowledge, oh, okay, you're saying something I don't like, and potentially having compassion for that person because the reason they're sharing it is not actually because they don't want you to be successful, it's because they're hurting somewhere inside. And that's what I think anyways. And when we can shift out of this like fighting back and reacting and just, you know, making this person the bad guy and realizing they're actually a victim of themselves, then I think we can just rest more easily at night we can kind of just brush that crap off without even letting it get us down and you know you know just affect us in the way that these these negative type of comments might be intended to so yeah what do you think about haters do you have any stories about people who've been trying to bring you down lately especially if you've got a story about them doing that and then you continuing on i would love to hear it so my name is robert O'Crook. If you're watching this video, give me a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and if you got a story in the comments and if you are watching on YouTube, give me a subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.